Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow because we'll do this all over again. I'm wearing the same outfit as I was yesterday, <laughs> don't mind that. Um, but I am going to make the beer bread that we talked about in yesterday's vlog and I just wanted you to see the different steps. It's super simple. And then maybe you'd make it for yourself. First, I'm adding three cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of sugar. Okay, and then 12 ounces of beer. This is the only liquid ingredient. I'm going to mix this up. I already have my pan greased. I realized I don't have a loaf pan, so hopefully this will be fine. Um, yeah, let's see how the dough turns out. It's awfully bubbly. I greased the bowl, but I might flour it up a little bit because it is pretty moist. Um, yeah, there's the dough. So I did add a little bit of extra flour. It looks like more in the shot than I actually did. Um, and then the last step is just some melted butter over the top. It'll give it some crispy deliciousness on the outside. I'm actually not going to film because I know I'm going to be messy. Alrighty, I, I, I didn't measure out the butter. Um, and hopefully it wasn't too much, but maybe it'll just be extra crispy. I allowed a lot of it to go on the sides, but it is going to bake at 375 for an hour. Look at that bread. I'm excited, it smells so good. Peter just started another call. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. Maybe I'll let it sit on a plate. I don't know, but I'll wait for him for the first bite. Me again, just me. Peter has been having calls all day long. Um, I just showered, I'm gonna get ready for the night. Then I also heated up the very last of the gumbo for a little late lunch because we plan on eating Earl's sandwich at Disney Springs, but I know We'll be hungry before we get there. And so I made like makeshift bread bowls out of the beer bread. They aren't really bowls, it's just kind of like lining the bowl. Um, but it's super yummy. So I didn't fill Peter's yet because he's still on the phone. Um, so he's gonna scoop his out, but this is mine. Kind of carb overload, um, but the bread is so good and there's really not a ton of soup left. And so yeah, that is our little pre dinner snack it's actually like a full dinner but knowing me and peter we'll both be hungry again like seven eight o'clock whenever we make our way over welcome to the vlog i haven't been in the vlog yet today have you no you haven't wow today was a day for work did you enjoy the beer bread i did it had like i could really taste the ipa beer and i could it had like some Irish server bread kind of vibes to yeah, it. Yeah, I loved good. it. I am a, like a bread purist. Like I don't even like butter on my bread sometimes. So like I enjoyed it by itself more than I did with the uh, gumbo. Yeah. Yeah. We got plenty left. Yes. All right, we're in Springs. There's a line into our favorite store. So we're gonna go check all those things out and hope that the line is not there later. But so far, so good. It feels weird to be like smelling restaurant smells and hearing people. Yeah, weird. I think it's weirder here than at City Walk because I feel like we're, this is more like home to us. Yeah. And so it's like really weird. This is all we've wanted for <laughs> two and a half months is just to relax in rocking chairs on Disney property. We found rocking chairs right outside of guest services. The back side of guest services. It's a yeah. secret. Look at this view. And it's shady. We got shade. We got rocking chairs. We got music. And for the time being, since Deluxe isn't open, I think until either Friday or next week, we got essentially the whole place to ourselves.
Alright, so the plan was for us to just find as many spots tonight like that as we can to just chill and enjoy the Disney Springs music. Mm -hmm. But homegirl's a little hungry. So we're gonna go check out the line at Earl Sandwich and hopefully it's not too long right now and we'll get some food. Oh my goodness. One, haven't seen Saratoga Springs in forever. And two, there are no boats. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it feels good to use the DVC discount <laughs> again. Just that we're back on property. Okay, so this is what we get at Earl. They have a compre say, but we just get avocado instead of mozzarella. We got Earl Grey lemonade. Sea salt. Yeah. Sea salt. <laughs> they also had hand sanitizer stations right when you picked it up. So feel fresh and clean. Oh ho ho. Just because of this, we're watching a Christmas movie tonight. Oh, it's so beautiful. How was your Earl sandwich? It was delicious. It felt so good to eat it. We got some people watch. It was great. We're gonna go hide in the corner and listen to this. This uh, I keep wanting music. to say West Clonk. Marketplace. <laughs> Marketplace. Marketplace music. Area music. Yeah. Not until. Not until. Not until. Oh, it's good to be home. Let's go. Never take for granted <laughs> little pieces of Mickey in any part of your life. Ever again. Ever again. I gotta take a picture of this. This is all closed off because Saratoga Springs is over there and you can't go over there. We're just gonna chill here by this turned off uh, water pad and jam out. I was like, um, can, do I have a spot on the bench? <laughs> Bring in my water. Look at the fresh setup here. Ooh, there's a whole place to ourselves. Nice. It's the most beautiful sunset tonight. I got a salted cupcake. Let's go find the spot to eat. I'm gonna be honest, guys. The market for trash can eating has never been better. Something like this really hits you in the face that things are a little different right now. Yeah, it's usually so lively. I want to hop this and just dance on that stage so bad right now. Last stop of the night. Sugar well, With a little walk afterwards. Yeah. We're in line to go well, in like last booth. actual place that we want to go. Sugar We're booth. standing in line to go in now. Be, but it'll be worth just a little quick stroll. be stroller. reunited with our love. Yeah. The dealer of whimsy. <laughs> So I think we're gonna end up coming back and getting Mr. Lion here. That is just adorable. Like I love all this stuff, but this right here, this little lion from Sugarboo, needs to be in our like sliding. We're not gonna get a rocking chair. We don't think we're gonna get like a sliding chair. I yeah, I think that'll be more cozy. Like a glider. Mm -hmm. And I could just picture that sitting on the glider in the corner, but like a little bit away from the Chicago flag. Oh yeah. Special. Bye Sugarboo. Be back soon. Check out. Nighttime check space. Is there, what is this called? This water? Is this a lagoon? Pond? Lake? Does it have an official name? Like it's not Seven Seas Lagoon. I think I looked it's not it up Crescent once. Lake. I gotta look it up again. But our night is quickly winding to an end. Sarah. Sarah's getting. T I'm getting tired too. Oh, oh, oh! oh. But Social Sarah's. Distancing with lizards is hard. <laughs> So uh, on top of not being out for like two and a half months, she also has probably lost some of her park leg stamina. Yeah. Because, you know, cooking, cooking something away. Something. So we'll have to build it back up. Yeah. But it feels good. Like I feel 
Like, I want to be active. Well, like, I was ready to go. I was like, do you want to go? And Sarah's like, I don't want to go yet. Let's just walk down to the water on the other side of the springs. So, that's what we did. And look, once again, just so peaceful. Before we go inside, I have to show you guys this amazing card. I don't know if I've ever gotten a card this awesome for my birthday. It's gonna play! Oh, maybe not. So I push that button. Oh, I think it I think it played its its life already. So it played um happy by Pharrell. Um our car needed to be vacuumed anyway, but it made a huge mess in here. It literally like shocked me when I opened it and all of the confetti flew out. So thank you, Matt. Um you're so kind to us and this was such a fun surprise. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. She says, I don't like when you go out anymore. Um, do you want to go outside? <gasps> don't go outside? Come on, go. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Alrighty. Oh. I'm wiped. Yeah, we're both tired. <laughs> have not walked that much, so we just took Eve out, which is always adventurous. Um, we uh, also, yeah, we also sat on a lot more surfaces today. I touched more at Disney Springs than I did at City Walk. Of course we were mindful, but we are going to do like wipe down, change our clothes, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, and it's 10 o'clock. It's a three day weekend. I got <laughs> it's early. Wednesday. Oh man, it's almost a three day weekend. <laughs> Only one more full day though. Right, because I have early release on Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so our review of the night was we had a great time. We felt safe. We felt like there was like tons of hand sanitizer. I wouldn't say like overwhelming, but like in all like the corners. Like if you would, you know, if you slowed down, you saw them. I felt safe because we knew... We know how to maneuver springs, and it's a very large facility like yeah, area. Yeah, I definitely felt anxiety inside Earl of Sandwich, and I think that that'll get better over time as people get used to social distancing. Um, but I'll probably wait outside restaurants from now on. Yeah. Like um, some people take it more seriously than others, so it's like yeah. hard when you have a line that cues... And some people listening to dots, other people's not. And we're just two people, so we literally fit on one dot. But, like, in front of us was, like, eight kids hanging out. And mm -hmm. they took up, like, the dot plus three feet in both directions. And the family behind us had an ECV and three adults. and they Who weren't as, like, adamant about um, maintaining the distance. So we kind of felt, like, creeped in on, on both sides. And so... So the inside was, was definitely more stressful than the outside. Yeah. Outside was enjoyable and felt good. Yes. We did see, I think it was a hotter day than the opening day of City Walk mm -hmm. 1. I think that made a big difference on the mask wearing. Um, and so we saw more people at Disney Springs with their masks down, with their masks off. Walking with a drink, which kind of like... But also not wearing, walking with a drink, yeah. just like not wearing masks. Yeah. Um, so more masks than at like Publix, you'd say. Yeah, we kind of said like City Walk was awesome. Disney was good. We did see security tell people to put it on. Yeah, so we saw it this was once good or to twice. see that. We heard that. Um, but still um, just more like more commonly than at City Walk, we saw people without it. Yeah, like I probably saw less than 10 people at City Walk during our like three hours there that either wasn't wearing a mask or was had it like hanging and at disney we saw like probably 15 to 20 an hour yeah it was pretty consistent where there'd be a group of people three not groups of people it. wearing it and then a group not like yeah. that sort of thing but like that's still better than any whole foods Publix or walmart i've been to or over just the past, like downtown winter park or downtown winter park when i'm running over the past two and a half months it's like probably less than 10% of society I see in Central Florida out of a theme park wearing masks when yeah. you should be compared to the like probably 
75 to 80 percent of people at disney wearing them and the like 95 percent we saw at city walk yeah and i don't know i think that it there was a lot of negative coverage today of it um but we felt really good there the time of day that we went also it i mean like peter said it helped that we knew how to maneuver and we were in control of ourselves so even if there was like a big group of people coming towards us and there's people to the side like we would stop and sit to the side so kind of can only control control yourself yeah and, and like um, we went there for different reasons like other people do go yeah. there to shop do go there to eat food we went there yeah. to hang out and to listen and to, the to music. feel the feels like yeah. there were so many times where i was just like it just i mean when we start our disney vacations we start at disney springs and so it has that like it, it has that extra bit of magic for us um, and so it was just good. It was good to be home. It was good to be home. Alrighty, shall we sign off? Oh, we have to do the message. You're doing the message today. Okay, it's really long. I'm not a good reader. <laughs> no. The sleepiest pup in all the land stretches. May 20th. As you awaken today, be lifted in love. Be thankful that you have been provided the opportunity to experience this mysterious, beautiful, magical thing called life. Make the decision to be at peace before you roll out of bed. Make the decision to smile as much as possible, not because you feel the need to, but because there is someone in deep need of the energy your smile puts out into the universe. Make the decision to put less thought into all the things you have to do today and instead focus on the beauty of the universe breathing through you each moment make the decision to have a good day kyle d jones you ever just love cleaning up your youtube subscriptions <laughs> yeah gotta do it periodically and make sure you're only getting things you actually want to watch in your your list yeah it's called efficiency what are the other keys of the disney world cast members safety show efficiency Safety. All our cast member friends. So efficiency. I feel like it's another E. I'm gonna Google it. Courtesy. courtesy. Safety, courtesy, show. And efficiency. And fish. Okay, it's good to be home. We're changing it. We're no longer saying that. What? We're gonna say it's good to be home. <laughs> you goblin. <laughs> Ready for Halloween? Because. My friend James is going to come hang out with us then. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>